hello welcome back to home school today i am here to solve the most requested question in home school so many of the children have asked me uh, please explain example problem from introduction to trigonometry so here you go with the problem so you observe here prove that sin theta minus cos theta plus 1 by sin theta plus cos theta minus 1 is equal to 1 by secant theta minus tan theta using the identity secant square theta is equal to 1 plus tan square theta so children this problem we can do in two or three ways so today i am going to explain this problem in very easy way so first observe here how can i proceed the problem first anyhow a uh, solution we are going to start with a given data uh, by considering lhs consider left hand side what do you have left hand side sin theta minus cos theta plus 1 by sin theta plus cos theta minus 1 in rhs side i can observe secant theta what do you mean by secant theta 1 by cos theta tan theta sin theta by cos theta there you have to observe by cos theta sin theta by cos theta so let me use that technique what is that divide divide numerator and denominator divide numerator and denominator by cos theta so let's start dividing sin theta by cos theta minus cos theta by cos theta plus 1 by cos theta whole divided by sin theta by cos theta plus cos theta by cos theta Minus one by cos theta. What is sine theta by cos theta? Tan theta. Tan theta minus this cancels. You are going to left with one. Plus one by cos theta is nothing but secant theta. Whole divided by sine theta by cos theta. Tan theta plus one minus secant theta. So next, I'm going to rearrange the numerator. See here, yeah, how I'm going to arrange tan theta plus secant theta minus one by tan theta plus one minus secant theta. Denominator I'm not disturbing. So let me stop here, and I'm going to see the identity there. What we are going to apply in this problem? Secant square theta is equal to one plus tan square theta. So first, let me rearrange the identity. We know that secant square theta is equal to one plus tan square theta. Rearrange it. Secant square theta minus tan square theta is equal to one. Again, I think it is in the form of a square minus b square. Split that. A plus b secant theta plus tan theta. Into a minus b secant theta minus tan theta is equal to one. Now observe here what you have tan theta plus secant theta. So other than this set, send this transpose other side. Secant theta plus tan theta is equal to one by secant theta minus tan theta. Okay. Now I'm going to use that here. So after this, let me continue a problem here. In the place of tan theta plus secant theta, I'm going to write one by secant theta minus tan theta minus one whole divided by tan theta plus one minus secant theta. Now do LCM for the numerator. What you are going to get? Secant theta minus tan theta, and here one minus of secant theta minus tan theta. Yes, when you do LCM, you are going to multiply this full set here. 
होल डिवाइडेड बाय टैन थीटा प्लस वन माइनस सीकेंड थीटा नाउ रिमूव दिस ब्रैकेट वन माइनस सीकेंड थीटा माइनस इन माइनस प्लस टैन थीटा बाय सीकेंड थीटा माइनस टैन थीटा होल डिवाइडेड बाय टैन थीटा प्लस वन माइनस सीकेंड थीटा Observe carefully. I can cancel this and this. So you are left with what you are left? One by secant theta minus tan theta. This is nothing but your R H S. Yes. See L H S sin theta minus cos theta plus one by sin theta plus cos theta minus one. We have simplified in order to get the R H S one by secant theta minus tan theta. So finally, what I can say? Therefore, LHS is equal to RHS. That is, sine theta minus cos theta plus one by sine theta plus cos theta minus one is equal to one by secant theta minus tan theta. Finally, end up with a line. Hence. It is proved. They asked us to prove, right? Hence, it is proved. Okay. This problem is very simple. Watch carefully in your textbook. If you see, you can see another method. So this method is very easy and very simple to understand. I hope everybody understood this. If you need, watch once again this video. With this, I am going to end my session. Thank you all.